Welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to use Pinnacle Studio 14. Alright. So, let's go over to it. As you can see, Pinnacle Studio is over there. So let's go. Double click on it. Please note that you first have to install it. Okay, so here is a project I've been working on recently it's for a holiday. But let's go to a new one. Now, you just need to rename it. So you can rename it. Test. Project. So it will now save your project and go to the new project. Right. Now, you have your new project and you obviously you need some footage first. So I'm going to take this footage over here. What you need to do is you need to drag that or your whatever video onto your timeline. You can change how much you see by uh, putting uh, hovering your your mouse over the timeline. Once you have done that. You can add several effects, titles, and other things. Okay, now I'm going to play it. There you go. Now, that we've done the video, let's move on to transitions. You have numerous transitions. 2D, Alpha Magic, Holly effect, Hollywood FX, Flying Windows, Extra FX, Family Fun, and Fun Pack. You can also buy more transitions at the studio site. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna pick uh, Hollywood FX for studio. I'm gonna just pick a random one. This one. You need to drag that just before, and I'm gonna get a different one. and uh, drag that after. So now, so there you go. Um, you need to wait for it, for it to render if it is the green and then you can show a different color of green which is moving and once there is no green like this then it's rendered once it's all orange so we'll wait for that for now all right moving on now these are called montage themes you can get lots of them you can get sports and stuff like that they just they like moving slideshows almost extreme so let's put that one in sorts of may sort of made makes a music video so you can drag your video onto where it's ending drop zone 
and type your text. Lighting. That's what I'm putting. Um, there you go. You can also add photos and other things in. Now you can play it. But first of all, you need to wait for it to render. So once the green is gone, then you can move on. Now that that's done, you can play it. You can also add music in. there you go so if you delete the one before here is the extreme one okay moving on to text now in studio 14 they have added extra things not these good but kind of boring ones that don't really do anything they've added in motion titles now if you go up here and select motion titles here they are you can also buy more montages and more titles from the studio site as well okay so you can have a look at all of these they are really really quite good they're only about two seconds which is quite short you can also make them longer though now, once you've dragged the text in front of the text that you've chosen that you like in front of your clip on the timeline, just wait for it to render. In the meantime, double click it. And it will load. Now, you can write the text that you want. So, I'm going to put in lighting. Don't worry, the text behind. And you c now you can also change the text. Drag that there. We can have that or that. Now, once you've chosen it, I'm going to pick this one. There you go. Go into settings, and you can change the settings. I like to put a blur on, so you can do that. change the edges as well so that you get a nice color there you go so you can also add in pictures and move them along and move them along and change the order so you can say center back and there, there you go. You can add in shapes, which is pretty cool. Um, can change the sizes. There are lots of different things to do. Textures and things like that, which are very good. Again, you can change the order. So put this bring to front. And so there you go. Send that to the back one more. Send it in front of the picture and there you go. Quite good. And again, you can change the motions. So you can also get other these shapes to come in. 
So if you select that, Make this grow. That. Get rubber band. Like that. Whatever that is, like that. And the picture like that. And the other picture like that. So, click OK. Now, all it needs to do is render. Remember, you can also put music with this. So, first of all, let's just put some music. Okay. Brand music. Put that there. Okay. So, now, let's see. Okay. Now, it's rendered. And now, we can watch. And there you go. You can put music with that. Okay, moving on. If you click down here, you can see all your pictures. So that's simple enough. Drag it onto the timeline. Okay, so pictures, simple enough. Menus. Now they have improved their menus, which is good. One of my favorites is this one. You can change the text, and it automatically does the different chapters and scenes for you. Or you can do it manually. I'll double click. And same thing with the text just now, you can change this text. Or you can also add your own buttons and correspond that with the different buttons. Okay, now we're going to move on to sound effects. You can have many of these animals, backgrounds, blah blah blah. I'm sure you can read. Okay, so I'm going to go to electronic. Diesel hum, electric motor. Okay, so you can once again drag that. Instead of putting it in the music soundtrack slot, you put it in the sound effect slot. It has the sign over here. Okay, so we can put that in the menu or anywhere. Okay, and finally, our well, music soundtrack, which I've already gone over. Now, speaking of music soundtracks, click on the menu, click this button, and go down to this button. Now, it there are lots of songs here, and it will automatically resize them for your clip. So, I'm going to go with film and TV. Ripping good yarn. And it can't stop now. You can preview it. And add to movie. Now. Now. 
There you go. You can also get music from a disc. A voiceover or microphone. You can do the volume and you can cut different tracks. Now you can also get um, sound effects. You can change the speed of it. You can do all of these things over here. All right. Now we're going to move on to video effects. You can use all of these chroma key when for green screen, picture in picture when you want a screen recording and webcam. Pan and zoom for pictures, and there are lots and lots of them. Now, my favorite is particular. It has these things in here. Okay, so I've basically shown you the basics, and um, you can experiment. So, goodbye, and I hope you do well, and send me your clips if you want to, or if you need any help. Just comment on the page. I'll leave some descriptions for you, or things in the description for you. Um, and anyway, check out my other videos so you can have a look. So, goodbye. Thank you.